Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and if you're new here, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. I post new videos all the time and today we're doing a Trader Joe's grocery haul, probably one of my most requested videos on my channel. I have a bunch of them already, so I'll link those in cards. Um, you can just click at the top of this video and watch the old ones, but this is going to be like a pretty current one. Um, things that I'm loving. I always shop at Trader Joe's no matter where I'm living. I'm from New York, but I'm in Georgia for college, so wherever I like wherever I'm living, Trader Joe's is perpetually my favorite go-to grocery store. I find it is the most inexpensive, um, the best selection, the size isn't too overwhelming. So if you're like just getting into grocery shopping, honestly, it, I know it can be like a lot to do the grocery store and like get what you need and get like an efficient amount of food. So I feel like this is going to provide you guys with some good ideas that maybe you can use in your life. And just for reference, I'm a senior in college now. I live in a house, so I do have like a full kitchen. I'm able to cook and stuff. So that's really nice because, um, I don't know, I can cook. But a lot of these are just like microwave or um, just like little things you can keep in like your mini fridge in your dorm. So college grocery haul, let's do it. Also, I'm just in a big t-shirt today and being casual because I just, I couldn't do it today, so it's fine. It's a Sunday, it's a lazy Sunday, and I got Dunkin', so we're just, we're doing well today. I've been recently ordering just black iced coffee wherever I go, and it's really, really not that bad, so I would recommend trying it. If you're like an iced coffee gal or guy, there's like 12% viewers on this channel that are males, but you know, if you're an iced coffee gal or guy, try black. I think you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, so we'll get started with some of this frozen stuff so I can get it right in the freezer because it's been kind of sitting out for a while now and I really need to put it in the freezer. Okay, so first these are staple. Uh, by the way, I don't follow any like specific diet. Um, I just try to eat relatively healthy and I know some of these things aren't like 100% healthy in some people's minds, but overall I just try to stick to a balanced diet. Like, yes, with my friends, am I gonna go to McDonald's sometimes? Yes, like I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do that. I do it, I have fun, I don't hate myself, I don't beat myself up for it. Um, but most of the time I do try to stick to like relatively healthy. Everybody's definition of healthy is also different, but you know, for the point of this, the, for the sake of this video, it's fine. So this first item is the Trader Joe's cilantro, chicken cilantro mini wontons, I love these. I microwave them, you can pan fry them too, but microwave is just super easy. And um, I put these on top of salads, I just eat them plain. And I use coconut aminos, which is like um, an alternative to soy sauce with them. And they're really, really good, um, super healthy for you. Like four of them is only 50 calories and I don't go by calories at all. Like I'm just stating for reference, like they are not that bad for you and um, a really great meal idea. Okay, I got three bags of the cauliflower gnocchi. I tried this, I got two bags of it and I ate them in two days. So I really recommend this super filling meal and um, I just put some tomato sauce on it and then maybe serve it with like, I didn't buy arugula at this time, but like spinach or arugula or like a green or some like cherry tomatoes or something like that. And it's super filling, super delicious and pretty easy to make. Um, the way that I make it is I pan saute it, but I um, cook it with water first and then I put the sauce in like right at the end. So that's a really easy meal idea. And um, honestly, okay, does it taste like gnocchi? No, but does it taste good? Yes. So there you have it. That's my verdict on this. And I got um, a thing of mashed cauliflower. I am going to try to make this. I know Danielle's been really into this. Um, yeah, I just... I just need to make it. I had this in my freezer like all year last year and I never made it because I kind of see it as like a side dish in my mind, but I feel like I can make this with, with like a salad or something and then you know, just kind of eat it as like a little, a little side guy. I got some veggie burgers. I like putting veggie burgers on salads or just eating them plain. I didn't buy like buns or anything because I'm trying to like not cut out bread by any means, but like not buy as much bread because when I go out to eat, usually I eat bread. So like I don't want to keep in the house if that makes but I love um, a good veggie burger. So I got these ones, they're the Dr. Prager's. I've had them before. Um, you just put a little bit of, like I got the Green Goddess salad dressing that I might put on top of it. I know that's kind of weird, but I like a weird combo of food, but it's fine. So yeah, these will be pretty good. These are my all time favorite. Um, if you want to do a meal, I would eat two of them. But if you want just like a little snack to push you through the day, I just get one, like that like two o'clock snack get one of these. These are the bean and rice burritos. 
from Trader Joe's and I just love them. And next we got zucchini spirals and the only reason I got these is because I just bought a huge thing of pasta sauce so I figured this would just be like another thing that I could cook with the pasta sauce because uh, they're pretty good. It's frozen. That's the only problem is that there's just more to do when it's frozen. You have to like drain the water and everything. Definitely a good little meal idea. Um, yeah, I, I like zucchini spirals. They're pretty good. <laughs> oh, this is definitely a treat, but I've been really into mochi lately. You guys know, well, if you saw my night routine, which probably is up by now, I got um, <laughs> I got a thing of mochi and I'm like really, really into it. So I got this one, which is just coffee mochi. And I just figured, you know, like one of them as like a little dessert. Why not treat yourself? I got this, which I think is so good. Um, I've tried just the gluten, just the um, cauliflower pizza crust i got like so many cauliflower things i just realized that but i've gotten just the crust and it's okay but but then you have to do like all the sauce and like all the stuff on top and this one's just pre-made it's just a cheese pizza with a cauliflower crust honestly i eat the whole thing because it is not really that big in my opinion but it tastes so good and um yeah i got myself some flowers i have to put them in a vase but they kind of go with my room like the little pop of pink I don't know. I, I love buying myself flowers. Like, why not? Treat yourself. This is surprising. I used to not like this, and then I tried it recently, like, just the other day, and I was like, whoa. Like, I like this now. I got roasted seaweed snack. I got a bunch of them, and they're just 99 cents. I'm probably not going to bring them, like, on campus with me, but, like, they're really good to put in your backpack. They're a very um, low-cal snack. It's a good little salty munch if you're, like, in the mood for something salty. It kind of satisfies that craving, in my opinion. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I got gluten-free pretzels. I have some hummus somewhere in here. Um, I just like the crunch of the gluten-free pretzels better than regular, to be honest. I clearly don't follow gluten-free, but I kind of like it. I got some organic air pop popcorn. I could just put some of this in like little Ziploc bags and bring it to class, or I could just eat it by the handful, which is what, the, what I wound up doing. Sauce time. So I got tomato basil mare. Mm. I got tomato basil marinara, which is going to be my sauce for all of my cauliflower gnocchi, the um, zucchini noodles. This is just really good to me. It just tastes really good. It's cheap. This whole thing is like $1.99 or something. And then I got a new coconut oil spray. I just go through this pretty quick. Um, whenever I'm cooking things in the pan, I opt for this instead of like olive oil because I just find it's a little bit lighter. Um, it doesn't have much of a taste. So it's just like a good non stick cooking oil and then i got more coconut aminos which are like i said that alternative to soy sauce a little bit sweeter but i do still really like and i would use these on the wontons i could use them as a salad this as a salad dressing is really really good so it just kind of lasts for a while and it doesn't go bad so you just like leave it in the fridge i got one bottle of wine i really I, I don't really like casually drink wine, but I like to have it in the house just in case the opportunity comes up or something, just to have something on hand. Um, and it's so cheap. It's $2.99, and this is the Trader Joe's Pinot Grigio kind. I don't know. I like it. I'm not like a wine connoisseur or anything, but this one's pretty good. Two bottles of water. Um, you guys are propped up right now on my new mini fridge, so I'm going to keep these in my little mini fridge in my room just to grab and go. I like this water a lot. I really like the taste of it, even though I usually use my Brita and just put it in my hydro flask water bottle. Um, I like to just have grab and go water too, just in case I'm like in a rush or something. Okay, now we'll do this bag, which is like fruits and stuff. So I got four bananas. I've been really into bananas lately and I always eat one before I work out. I find that it gives me the perfect amount of energy in the morning, but I don't feel like sick to my stomach. Cause you know, when you overeat before a workout, I did that the other day and I was like, I had cramps and I was nauseous and it just wasn't fun. So I just eat one banana before my morning workouts and I'm set. Like I feel good. I have enough energy. It's great. So I would recommend bananas <laughs> and they're so cheap. They're like 19 cents each. Oh, here's the other seaweed snack. I got oh, these mini pearl grape tomatoes. I put them in everything. I'll put them in like that cauliflower gnocchi. You can eat them plain. Dip them in hummus if you are really feeling spicy. <laughs> they're just really, really good. And they're a great snack to have. I like literally keep them out on my counter and I'll just be like, oh, I'll have a few of those like as a little snack. And to me, they're just so delicious. All about the fruit here. I got a bag of lemons because I want to start doing lemon water again. I just feel better when I drink lemon water. I feel like it really cleanses me out and my skin has been really bad. So hopefully this will help because I know lemons are like really high in vitamin C and antioxidants and all that good stuff. I got mandarins. I love these just to grab and go once again, like keep them right on the counter and like grab them. They're so good and sweet and tasty. Perfect for bringing to class or whatever on the go, but also 
you know, they're like a fruit, so it's healthy. <laughs> I got two avocados. These honestly are really, really hard, so it's gonna be a while before I can eat them, but I just put avocados in my salads typically because um, I didn't even buy any bread to do avocado toast, but in the past I've done avocado toast, which is really good too. Um, avocados and salad is probably my favorite thing to do right now. I got a new thing of Himalayan pink salt. I love this. I just put it on everything. It just gives everything a little bit of a taste, but it's, I don't know, to me it just tastes, maybe it's psychological, it tastes better than regular salt in my opinion. So pink salt is the move and we're out of it. So I had to get more. Um, I have another bag, but <laughs> then I got Persian cucumbers, which are so good. Also, this is like a huge stock up. Like I literally had no food left because I went like the day before school started. This is like, this is like a two week stock up for me. So I got these Persian cucumbers and um, I can cut them up and dip them in hummus or just eat them plain or in a salad. So many different ways to eat cucumbers and they're cute and like tiny. <laughs> This is the last of everything. I spent, um, I'll just be honest with you guys, I spent $100, which is a big stock up for me. Last time I only spent like 60, but I got like not as much stuff. So this is like a huge stock up. Like I can make so many meals with all this stuff. So just keep that in mind. This is the Smooth and Creamy Classic Hummus. I just always get this kind. It's really good. I just remember it as the blue container. So if you're looking for just like the basic plain hummus, blue container. And it's good with baby carrots, which I got, the cucumbers, gluten-free pretzels, everything. I put hummus on everything. I probably eat. I got these raspberries, which I'll probably just end up eating plain because I didn't really get anything to eat them with. I love a good berry though. I really didn't get that much fruit. I probably should have gotten more, but I just like eating these plain. And it's such a little container, honestly. I'll probably go through them really quickly. I'm gonna run out of this really quick. This is just Trader Joe's baby spinach. And I cook it in my eggs and I don't, I didn't buy eggs because I still had them from last time. so. I would normally buy like a carton of eggs and just I usually make egg whites like I'll do like one egg two egg whites and then some spinach and some other vegetables and do like a little scramble but anyways I got a thing of baby carrots um I didn't intentionally get these organic ones but it's fine so I got baby carrots for the hummus I got a bag of the hard-boiled eggs I put the everything but the bagel seasoning on it and it is literally just life-changing that is the best and if I don't eat a banana before my workout I'll eat a hard-boiled egg or two before my workout because I feel like that's also a good breakfast pre-workout if you're looking for pre-workout ideas and this is um, just super convenient to keep in the fridge and then last but not least I got these literally for my mini fridge because I want to try out like new cold brew coffees and stuff to keep in this mini fridge in my room. <laughs> um so annoying. But I saw these and I was like, "Yes, ma'am." Um they're the organic cold brew coffee, uh, nitrogen infused with organic espresso from Trader Joe's. Super cute. I love the little bottles and uh they were like $2 or something each. So, yay. And that will conclude my Trader Joe's haul. My room is a mess now, so I have to go put everything away. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like I said, if you're new. And if you want to see um, any other like videos specifically, please leave your request down below. I love hearing you guys and like what you think. Leave below what your favorite Trader Joe's item is. If I missed anything or if you like any of this stuff, I definitely missed some key stuff, but this is a good, I feel good about what I got. And that's all. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all super soon. Bye guys.